Wow, wow, did 2009 have a bad year of sequels. They got lazy with their titles, The Fast and the Furious. I mean, The Final Destination, Fast and the Furious. The Fast and The Furious, and Final Destination. Now that I got that out of the way, and I got that segment out of the way, let's review Fast and the Furious. So basically, Fast and the Furious is about... Um, this takes place uh, before the third one. Um, it's not a continuation of the third one. So basically, Letty, uh, Letty dies, and uh, that's um, Vince Vaughn's girlfriend in the movie. Uh, she's played by Michelle Rodriguez, and uh, so so Letty dies, and now Vin Diesel is trying to find who the killer is, and uh, and um. The the end of this one leads off to the fifth one, which I, which yeah, the fifth one is a continuation. But uh, I just feel like saying that. But uh, anyway. So. I don't think this is as bad as some people say it is. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. At, um, to me, the three prequels are the best in this series. Well, this one this one is probably not the best prequel in the series series, but, uh, it's probably my third favorite prequel in the series, in the Fast and Furious series, but, uh, but probably, like, my fourth favorite of all time in the Fast and Furious series, but, uh, so, anyway, so now he's trying to track down the person, uh, the person that killed her, and, uh, Paul, Walk Paul Walker's character joins, joins Vin, Vin Diesel on the adventure, and, uh, and this, I shouldn't say this is non-stop car stunts because there is some boring dialogue I didn't really care about in the uh, uh, in the beginning and middle, but uh, that's all right. So I give Fast and Furious four stars out of five. Yeah, liked it. I liked it more than I was expecting than I was expecting to like it because I heard how horrible it was.